Hello, Cappies. I hope you had a beautiful, relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you cappies universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of capricorn for capricorn's highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for capricorn in the life and how is capricorn currently doing on their stormy journey what's coming up for cappies in the life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, this one clearly wants to show up as extra message, Cappies. You feel so alone. You let your soulmate go. There's a part of you that misses this person that you let go of. Um, so, you know, each relationship has positives and negatives. Um, so... You do miss this person overall. You do miss them. You feel that you always have to be on the defensive, like you always have to be on guard with people, whether it's in a family, neighborhood, circle of friends, at your job. Uh, you feel like you always have to be on the defensive <clears throat> like you always have to be on guard emotionally. Oh, my goodness. This is you. You're surrounded by uh, quite a few toxic people. Yeah, that's why you feel so stressed out. That's why you feel so defensive. That's why you're going through so many emotional roller coasters, ups and downs emotionally. Uh, you're dealing with a bunch of people that have been extremely challenging to you, uh, to say the least. And that includes certain family members that uh, you feel are toxic in your life. Yeah. Wow. You're going through a lot in this incarnation. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Capis in the life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. This is you recognizing your worth value, not allowing people to drain you anymore. A lot of people drained you and you finally saying enough is enough. This is you recognizing your worth, trying to surround yourself with positive, authentic people who are genuine in your life. You have a lot of love to give in relationships. Yeah, this is you being very caring, loving, nurturing, attentive. You let a soulmate go. Yeah, you let them go completely. Yeah, you have a lot of drama going on at your job. So a lot of toxic people gossiping, bickering, do not get involved in their drama circles, in their gossip circles. This is you having opportunity for new job offer. You see this? New job offer, new opening, new position, new way of doing business. It's going to be up to you whether you take that opportunity or not. Remember, you have free will to decide to do whatever you feel you need to do with your life. You feel so beat up by life and circumstances in life. You feel so tired, but this is you getting your strength back, picking yourself up emotionally, getting your spirits back, your, your joy, happiness. Yeah. Hmm. This is you supporting yourself emotionally. Universe, please show us. You feel alone in this world. You feel like you have no one that has your back. That's how you feel. You feel like not even one person truly has your back. You feel so let down by people. 
universe please show us that's why you're so independent that's why you depend on yourself universe please show us what's coming up for Cappies and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah this is you finding your worth value as a person this is you loving yourself respecting yourself you're concentrating heavily on your job business finances uh, financial independence stability are very important to you yeah so you work with a bunch of snakes at your job people who are uh, toxic uh, so the job is not toxic the environment you work in is toxic certain people are toxic not all of them but you know who they are you see this is you trying to be very creative and uh, leave that toxic situation at work yeah you're gonna have an opportunity for a new job you see this i would take it <laughs> yeah i would take it and then leave on peaceful grounds don't burn any bridges yeah Oof. a lot of people betrayed you a lot of people betrayed you in your life yeah a lot of people that's why you feel so alone i don't blame you yeah, so somebody is deceiving you at your current place of employment. Um, but the truth will come out sooner or later. Yeah, so there's a lot of shenanigans going on. A lot of secrets, things that are shady, underhanded, uh, secretive. Uh, yeah, I would leave that place. Yeah, I would definitely leave that place. First, I would find something, accept it, if I feel good with it, with the position or the job and i would leave on peaceful terms yeah you're dealing with a lot of people that have backstabbed you you see this you're letting go of toxic people universe please show us what's coming up for cappies and how is capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey beautiful the sun the best card in the whole deck so this shows me that the answers are being illuminated for you. It is becoming very clear who is toxic in your life and who belongs in your life. You see very clearly, this is you loving yourself, respecting yourself enough to walk away from toxic people and not allow them to underestimate you, undermine you, compromise you. Yeah, um, so there are financial losses at the place where you are working, the toxic place, or where have you been working um, financial losses so that shows me that there's a lot of craziness going on a lot of shenanigans whenever that happens at a place of employment there are financial losses whether it's mismanagement of resources or mismanagement of people you're very disappointed in your soulmate this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you my least favorite knight of all knights knight of wands so knight of wands is a player energy meaning someone who used is used to playing mind games who's in and out of people's lives who's not communicating effectively not expressing emotions not making a commitment not telling you where you stand what to expect they just in and out when they feel like it and this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you this person caused you a lot of emotional setbacks that's why you're letting them go you're going to be meeting new people of quality new people of quality are entering your life uh, unexpectedly without looking and that's the best way to meet new people when we look we usually find trouble don't we yeah concentrate on yourself right now capis let me see what's going on with that soulmate you're letting go of universe please show us hmm universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cappies that cappies are letting go of and how's that soulmate of cappies towards cappies at this time especially emotionally what's going on currently with that soulmate of cappies and how's that soulmate of cappies towards cappies at this time especially emotionally Yeah, they didn't take action towards you. They want to take action. This person is not the best communicator and not the best listener. They're not happy without you. They feel so sad. They're showing up here as a fallen angel, 
with all those swords in their back. This person is not happy with their life without you. Yeah, this person recognizes important truths about their life um, thanks to you. Now that they lost you, they look at their life and their behavior more objectively. They miss you like crazy. This is them reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you, very emotionally attached to you. Um, this person loves you a lot, but they don't express it. They don't show it. Hmm. Yeah, they view us very intuitive, psychic, aware. They know it's going to be hard to gain your trust again after what they put you through. Yeah, you are very intuitive, very psychic, very aware of your surroundings. Yeah, you see, broken relationship shows up here. So the Ten of Pentacles is reversed which means broken relationship. So this was a serious relationship between you two, whether you were married, planning to be married, engaged, or living together. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies? That Cappies are letting go of. And how is that soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time, especially emotionally? Look at this, Ten of Swords showing up twice from two different tarot decks. This person wants to change the way they behave. They want to do something that they haven't done before. This person wants to communicate with you openly. Yeah, it's like, you see, this is reversed. This is right side up. It's like this person wants to make amends with you, prove themselves to you. You don't know how badly they want to reunite with you, see you, laugh with you, spend quality time with you. They have to lose you to finally see your worth and how much you mean to them. Yeah, they want to manifest you back in their life, but uh, oof, they have a lot of proving themselves to do to gain your trust again after what you went through. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies. Cappies, you are meeting people of quality, new soulmates, new friends through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings, celebrations, mutual friends and acquaintances. So make sure you don't isolate yourself at home. Yeah, go to classy places where cultured people hang out, travel, spend time in nature. Yeah, live your life with passion. This is you meeting new soulmates of quality. That you know from past lifetimes, obviously, right? You know, what's we show us what's going on currently with that soulmate that Cappies are letting go of. Yeah, this is them wanting to come towards you with communication. They view you as very attractive, independent, strong willed, moving on with your life, taking your power back. This person that you're letting go of has a lot of respect for you. They wish to match your energy, to meet you halfway. You see, queen of wands, king of wands. They wish to, to not uh, disappoint you. Yeah, they want to come towards you with some kind of emotional offer, gesture. Oh my gosh. The worst card in the whole deck, three of swords, heartbreak. This person is absolutely devastated, heartbroken over losing you. Yeah, there's a lot you don't know about this person. It's like they're very secretive. They hide things. But I think it's because they feel emotionally vulnerable. They don't like to be judged by other people. Um, hmm. There's more than one person of quality entering your life. One of those new soulmates you already know, uh, they're showing up as romantic, as uh, emotionally affectionate, shy, Approaching you, uh, studying your behavior. Interesting. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies. That Cappies are letting go of. Look how much they love you. The person you're letting go of is in love with you, but they lost you. You had valid reasons to walk away from them. Look how scared they are of feeling such deep, intense emotions, not being able to control them. Uh, disregard them. Uh, you see, this person is unable to just stop their love for you, stop their feelings for you. 
oh, they're hiding how they truly feel about you. You see, this person uh, manipulated you, lied to you about serious things. Yeah, it's because they feel very insecure. Yeah, so they didn't try to hurt you on purpose. But the point is you got hurt because of their behavior. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, this is you walking away from lies, deception of all sorts, including at your job or business. This is you walking away from people who are not authentic in your life. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cappies, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life that showed up as Ace of Cups. Wow, and Six of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask uh, what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life, the cups energies that showed up, uh, the knight of cups as well, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.